back to basics using the drive tool. As you can see from previous videos, we've already built an existing ground. We've built a corridor using a long section and vertical profile and a very simple assembly cross section to build that corridor. Now, sometimes to check is useful not only just to go to Object Viewer and see that in 3D to check, which is always a good practice to do so, but also to use the drive tool. Now, there's a couple of methods to get to it. We can select the corridor, right click, and it's on the menu, Drive. We can go to the corridor contextual ribbon and Drive. And we also can go to the Analyze, which I tend to use because I use the Analyze tools a lot. And I use the Drive button there. Once you select Drive, it will ask you for which uh, path you want to use. And it bases that on alignments, profiles, feature lines, etc. If you're not sure, if you press Enter. I want to drive along an alignment at my vertical profile. So I just select that, press OK. And what it does, it puts you into a new um, view, 3D view in a conceptual mode and what we can do with that depending on your the power of your graphics card and thing is a machine we can select realistic and then we can press play and you'll see that we're starting to be able to check our road our corridor for any glaring errors that we may well have had now what you can also see is the contours poking through from the existing ground and etc so what we can do we can tidy that up a bit um, if we just let that run its course, um, if we go to the close button, the close button's there to get out and go into our normal view. I always press escape a couple of times just to make sure. What I want to do is go to my home ribbon and tool space and remember the formation level uh, surface we created in a, the previous video. If I right click on that and go to the surface properties, and if I go to, I don't know, triangulation would be fine for the moment. All I want is some data off that so if I select that surface what I want to do is extract objects from it I want to extract the border that's all I'm interested in on the border press OK escape I can now turn that back off again no display press OK and what I've done is I've now got a polyline feature line that is the extents of my coral so what I can do and what we want to do is if we go to our surface property of our existing ground, I'm just going to change that into triangulation and I'm going to put some grass on there. Press apply. Okay. What I want to do is expand the existing ground, expand definition, and I'm going to put a hide boundary in. And I'm going to hide everything underneath the coral. So I just go add and I just put from coronal. I'm naming is key. And we're going to put a hide and we're going to put a destructive break line on this one. Press OK and we select our extracted. And what that's done is cropped the surface, existing ground surface, to the extent of our coral. So now, if I press escape a couple of times, if we can now go to the analyze button, ribbon, press drive, we want to go to VP. Press OK. It now looks a bit better. We can put that into conceptual, realistic. Now we're starting to get a reasonable finish. Oh, you could record that screen and you could share that with, with your design with people. Um, it just makes life. We could place 3D blocks onto that surface. We could do all sorts with that trees, etc. etc.